Are you filming? Simply. Oh, he's always filming. We're gonna go look at a baby that has a condition that I don't think we've ever shown you in a baby this young. Not a baby. Hello. So how old is this little one? Six months. You six months old? Hey, when did you first notice any concerns of the chest? Well, we, I didn't know it was a concern. Yeah. Oh, I guess that was. Like it's like a month old then. Definitely less noticeable. Just cute though. Yeah. Oh, there's those smiles. Mm -hmm. There's those smiles. Yeah, so that is helpful because it would appear that it's progressing. And progressing rather rapidly. So they the doctors noticed it. Sarah noticed it last time. She was mm -hmm. like, I don't remember seeing this yeah. prior to his four month yeah. visit. Hi. Um and then it's just still yeah. very prominent. Right. So. so you can kind of see there that's mm -hmm. kind of caved in there on the chest. I'll uh, grab a light and shine you a little bit of light if that helps at No, it's not need a light. Need a light? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't bother you at all, I can tell. You've been gaining weight nicely and just hitting all your milestones, I heard from Sarah. He says you're doing great. Let's go ahead and lay down and then we can take a look at how this looks laying down. So then you can kind of get a view of the chest right there where you can tell it's caved in. And, and um, with this condition, which is called pectus excavatum, you can tell that the sternum here is caved in, right? And I've only had a few really older kids, teenagers need surgery to just put a, a rod in there to bring the, the sternum back out. And then after a few years or a couple, like two, three years, they pull the rod out and you're done. Oh wow, okay. But this won't necessarily need surgery. So okay. I'm just saying, just... we'll get a consult. Okay. If you imagine the distance from the table here, hi. <laughs> If you imagine the distance from the table to my finger here, which is where the chest is, mm -hmm. if that is concave to 50%, so you're, you're, you're caved, <laughs> we're still very wiggly. Successful roll, yay! You did it! Yay! That's there. You're not gonna give us a smile. Come on, Papa, you smile. There it is. There it is. Smile. I need time. some mommy help for that one. Usually I can get a smile, but I got a beard, huh? Is it the beards? <laughs> he just shaved his beard off because he was yeah. ripping it out. Oh, oh my gosh. Man. Oh, baby, wow. It was, awesome. it was painful. So anyway, perfect healthy baby. Wanted you guys to see that pectus excavatum. And uh, we're, we've got Shriners Hospital here in Portland, so it's perfect. They'll do a full consult and perfect. tell you what you need to do. And I'm sure it's just a matter of following it for some time. And hopefully always just be following nothing yeah. that needs surgery down the road if it gets a lot worse there is a simple procedure it's not scary except that it does leave a scar because you're having to put a rod in there okay, a big thumbs up you guys on this video for this family being willing to share their journey with this condition and share it if you can and will thanks for watching i'm dr paul bye little man say bye oh, look at you <laughs> <laughs> I am like not getting smiles. <laughs> <laughs>